I'm a bassoonist in the Cleveland Orchestra in the United States. My position is assistant principal bassoon. My name is Susanna Whitney. I am from Papua New Guinea. I play principal bassoon in the Memphis Symphony Orchestra. I'm the principal bassoon player. We abbreviate it as the Oswano, but it's the Orquesta Sinfonica de la Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León. Nuevo León is the state where we live. It's a professional orchestra that is connected to the state university here in Monterey, Mexico. I also teach bassoon at the Conservatory of Music and in Spanish it's La Escuela Superior de Musica y Danza. And then I also have a couple of students that I teach at the State University and a couple of private students. My name is Leila Zamora, but actually it's a short, it's a short for, because my name is a very, it's a very long name. It's Leila Maria de Los Angeles Zamora Ballestero. And I was born in Costa Rica, but I consider myself a citizen of the world. I'm a native of Virginia in the United States. I auditioned for and, and was asked to take the position as principal bassoon with Midland Odessa Symphony, adjunct faculty at University of Texas Permian Basin, lots of private students. I play principal bassoon, Houston Grand Opera and second Houston Ballet. Uh, this is my ninth season with both groups. I got the job back in 2012. I also am the adjunct instructor of bassoon at Sam Houston State University. This is my second year there, which has been really fun. A career as a chamber musician. There are so few of us who specialize in chamber music, but I'm fortunate that that really can make up most of my full-time activity. So with Wind Sync, my wind quintet, we're also working on a lot of creative projects. So that involves commissioning and premiering new works for the wind quintet, arranging pre-existing works that sound awesome as chamber music you would never expect. Everything from single keyboard music all the way to full orchestral music can be really engaging on wind quintet. And then we also do a lot of educational, creative, and community-driven work. I'm doing the Breaking Winds Bassoon Quartet, I play new music, more experimental contemporary style music with a small group in Houston called Loop 38. And then I'm taking on other freelance work. I have been playing the bassoon now since middle school. So that would be eighth grade. That's proof that bassoon is really hard. I was born and raised in Texas, in Austin. I played for three years in the Kansas City Symphony and now I'm in my eighth season with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, playing bassoon and contra. I play second bassoon in the Tucson Symphony. I've been doing that. That's been my main job for the last uh, eight years or so. And before that, I was mostly taking auditions and taking auditions. I used to play in New Zealand Symphony, and that's why I have residency there. I always had a sense, like, if I want to do this, I want an orchestra job. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I play second bassoon in the Cleveland Orchestra. Prior to that, I played principal bassoon down the road, still in Ohio, in the Toledo Symphony. I think this is my 10th year as a professional. I am principal bassoon of the Toledo Symphony Orchestra. We're a full-time orchestra uh, with some of our extended chorus part-time. And so we're one of the largest regional orchestras in the U.S. And I also am on the music faculty of the University of Toledo, and I'm on the faculty of the Toledo Mindfulness Institute. I started on clarinet, but soon transferred to bassoon in high school. I fell in love with the instrument. I went to University of South Florida as an engineering major, but I had to play in the orchestra, the band, and a woodwind quintet. When I finished college, I got drafted into the U.S. Army. Diversity is good. And part of what we have to do as musicians is understand that it's not just about playing the instrument always. Some people make better reads than others because they're talented in that way. And I think engineering gave me a different perspective. The music publishing came much later. What I identify with right now is being a recitalist and master class clinician. I love presenting music, new and old, <laughs> diverse and standard. <laughs> and I love to work with students. Master classes are really cool because you get to work fresh with a student that you haven't, you know, worked with before. Um, 
and repertoire and share that. It's really fun to like, you know, have that exchange, you know, in that atmosphere. I think it can be really beneficial for everyone. I'm also a freelance musician, so I do orchestral playing, a bunch of orchestral playing, recording session work, and I play in small ensembles, different ensembles. Rush's ensemble for the group for Seven Bassoons and Chatterbird, which is a group in Nashville, a new music group in Nashville, and Intersection, which is another new music group in Nashville. I want to say a life liver. <laughs> Because uh, I'm like going through life and living life, you're, you're learning all sorts of things and new things and growing as an individual and a human being, and that kind of informs everything that I do. My full-time job is at the University of Texas at Austin, where I recruit a studio of really talented, eager young people, and I'm so grateful to get to work with them. And through my job there, I also have uh, other activities that is my professional development as a full-time professor. I'm in recent years have been very involved with the River Oaks Chamber Orchestra, shortened to ROCO. And I teach at the Round Top Festival in Round Top, Texas. I teach bassoon at Oberlin and I'm mostly playing solo stuff now and making YouTube videos and writing blog articles and all kinds of other content. I'm working on a practice course. I've become really passionate about practice and, you know, sort of what kind of practice leads to good technique and reliable technique and the ability to play an audition really accurately. I am a Swiss bassoon player. Uh, I'm 26 years old and play now since three years uh, in Winterthur in this orchestra, the Musik Collegium Winterthur. Um, which is a small symphony orchestra, so not a chamber orchestra, but not a big symphony orchestra, so it's in between. Um, I grew up in Switzerland, in near to Zurich, and afterwards I studied in Salzburg with Marco Postingel. And now, parallel to my work, I study in Basel with Sergio Azzolini. Right now, I'm, I live in Stockton, California. It's a port city inland from San Francisco. And I came out here to be a full-time bassoon professor. And I am now, for the past three years, I took on an added role of associate dean of academic affairs. And so that's where I am now. I play principal in the Stockton Symphony and I play acting principal in the Monterey Symphony. Those are my two contracted positions. And I get to sub a lot in the, what we call the Freeway Philharmonic out here in California. I'm a college teacher, professor, and doing this ever since I left undergrad school. Currently I'm teaching bassoon, coaching chamber music ensembles, and I teach two classes in popular music. As far as a professional musician, I perform with faculty colleagues. Currently I'm in a trio for oboe, clarinet, and bassoon and I play on other faculty recitals. In the summers, I teach and perform at two different music festivals. One is Red Lodge Music Festival in Montana, and I've been on that faculty since uh, 1980. Also, I am now one of the two bassoon instructors at the Sewanee Summer Music Festival in Sewanee, Tennessee. I got the job for Middle Tennessee State University. This is my first year. It's also my first tenure track position. I also own Go Bassoon Reads. I'm the Go Bassoon Lady. <laughs> They find out, oh, you're the go bassoon lady. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julie Ann Link, and welcome to the May 2021 fundraiser in celebration of the one year anniversary of the Music Link. To help keep the Music Link moving forward, to produce more events, and to grow our community outreach initiative to share, learn, and connect through music and bassoon education in Aotearoa and worldwide, would you consider investing in our work with $15 or increasing your support to $100? Please follow through the link in the description below to learn more about how you can participate in making a direct and measurable contribution in building the story of the music link. Thank you so much to those of you who have already donated their time, resources, and financial support. Your contributions have helped to keep our projects going this year. Thank you so much to the 20 great bassoon guest hosts on the Let's Link project 
who volunteered their time, expertise, and stories in life, providing a further glimpse into their experiences as musicians. Over the past year, we've hosted 58 events reaching thousands of people every week, resulting in 2,500 views on our YouTube channel, 650 YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook subscribers, over 200 event attendees, and unlimited opportunities for making new friends. It has been a joy sharing, learning, and connecting with musicians all over the world through music. The Music Link community envisions a world where our commitment to connecting through music fosters profound life lessons that inspire people to pursue their dreams. We are all teachers and learners, and sharing our unique stories and life with each other to make meaningful connections is the best way going forward. In honor of our one year anniversary, let's celebrate community and donate to our May 2021 fundraiser. We are building a great and wonderful community together, and thank you so much for your support.